open kiss. First of all, how are you enjoying yourself over here? Happy New Year, everybody. I'm having a great time. I'm here at uh, Saturday's Disco in the Britannia Hotel. And I'm drunk, and I'm getting ready to do an interview with, with uh, Simon Richard. Richard. That's what I said, Simon Richards. And um, first question, I was doing, actually a silly question, but we were just talking to a couple of the lads out of your support band, Bon Jovi, and they were saying they were finding it kind of cold and they were going to send home for their winter coats. How about you? Really? Well, I brought, you know, I mean, I've been to Europe a couple of times already with the band, so, uh, you know, I brought a couple of coats. So I, it, it doesn't bother me, you know? I mean, it's getting into winter anyway. It would be cold in New York, too, you know? Right. You're um, working this tour with uh, out one, of that one regular member of the band. How's that working out? Does it cause big problems? Um, well, the tour just started. This was actually tonight. Manchester was our fourth show. And, you know, as you know, we, we got Mark St. John, uh, a regular Kiss guitarist, and he played on the new album, Animalize, but uh, he contracted a uh, nerve inflammation. It's called Writer's Syndrome. And there's really no cure. It just has to kind of run its course. And, you know, so he's getting better, and he should be out probably in two or three weeks. To, to complete the European tour. But as it is now, Bruce is doing a fine job, Bruce Kulik, and he's doing a great job. Must have been, I've got to agree to that, having watched the set tonight. Um, how different How different are you finding it now, coming out from behind the makeup, which of course was uh, a big thing in the beginning? Well, you know, it's great. I mean, this is the second time we've been to Europe now uh, without the makeup. And at first, you know, it was, it was kind of a little scary, but anything that you do that you really believe in, and, and if it's a drastic change, it's a little frightening, but you have to do what you want to do at the time. You know, KISS has always done what it felt like doing. You know, what, whatever was best for KISS is what KISS has always done. And that includes the makeup and the staging and everything else that they've done over the years. So when it just felt the time to take the makeup off, you know, we just went ahead and did it, you know, because KISS has always given 100% to the fans because they believe in what they were doing. And we still believe in what we're doing. And still wearing the makeup after all these years, we didn't feel, you know, quite right with it anymore. So we just said, look, it's got to go, you know. Um, I was also going to ask you, how, how, how are you finding the audience reaction since you dropped the makeup? Um, uh, do, do you feel now that you ever really needed it? Because the showmanship that comes out is absolutely tremendous. Sometimes it didn't appear that you needed to play any music, you just needed to be there, stood there. Well, you know, um, the funny thing that most people don't realize is that even if you're in makeup and costume and platforms and all that, after about the first 10 or 15 rows, you can't see what the person on stage has on his face anyway. So for 10 years or 11 years, Kiss has been putting on a hell of a show, regardless of the fact if people could see the makeup or not. You know, people that are all the way in the back, they don't see the makeup. So it's always been the members of the band and the energy of the band that's, that's put Kiss over. Now, because uh, we took it off, it's, it's bringing us a new feeling, a, a new rejuvenation, let's say, you know, because we're actually out there now doing it without any cover-up, and people are seeing that it's the same band all along, you know, the, the critics that have been uh, blasting Kiss for years, saying that all it was was, was visual and nothing more, you know, they're, they're not saying that anymore because they can't, because it's, it's an ass-kicking band, and uh, without the makeup, it doesn't matter. They are the critics that have been saying that, personally, I would say, are obviously tone deaf. Um, interesting question. Uh, question I'm not sure I should ask, but I'm going to anyway. What do you think of your support band? Cover your ears, I want to... Oh, what? I'm sorry. What do you think of your support band? They did a really good set, and uh, one that I would imagine was difficult to follow um, tonight down in Manchester. What do you think of Bon Jovi? Do you think they're going to be big? Well, yeah. I mean, from what I understand, you know, they're doing very well here in Europe, and uh, the album's doing well, and we were glad to have them. That's why, uh, that's why we have them here with us, because we, we thought they'd be a good, a strong opening act, and, uh, it's good, it's good exposure for them. They're a great bunch of guys, you know, and they put on a good show, so that's all that's necessary. Uh, I noticed Gene isn't about, he's a very busy guy at the moment, and I was talking to Wendy O. Williams uh, earlier in the year. Uh, is he doing any more work with that particular lady, would you know? No, he's not, no. Uh, he produced the album for it, you know, and uh, I co-wrote a song, and Paul played on it, and Ace played on it, and I played on it, and Gene played on it, and we sang on it. So it was, it was really... Uh, for all practical purposes, it was, a, it was a Kiss album with Wendy O. Williams singing, you know, leads over it. Um, but no, you know, that's that's completed. Gene's been working with a couple of other bands producing. And, of course, you know about the movie that he did, you know, with Tom Selleck. That's coming out in the middle of December. But uh, right now, all his concentration is on the band. And how long is the tour going on for? This tour will be, I think, 30 shows 
in five weeks. I think we only have like five or six days off, so you know we're doing four or five a week. Uh, on the, on the actual um, session tonight, uh, you were praising Manchester. How how true is that, or is that something you say in every city, or do you like actually coming to Manchester as much as the city you like? No, absolutely not. I mean that that was real, you know, because we knew. I mean before we came here, you know, that it was going to be a great audience, you know, and. Uh, they're very responsive, you know, they go crazy, and, and we feed off that, you know. I mean, uh, we're not the type of band to just get up there and kind of preach to the audience and just, you know, you're down there and we're up here, and that's the way it is. You know, we like getting that feeling from the audience. The more they give, the more we can give. And uh, so we meant it, you know. All right, well, thanks very much for uh, taking time out to get away from the bar, because I know you must be really shattered after such a long uh, show. Many thanks for talking to us. And I hope you have lots of luck with the rest of the tour. I hope it goes as well, because it really was a good set tonight. Thank you. It was nice talking to you. Goodbye, everybody.